What's up guys, this is the Rev and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to run off where we left off, we captured Finland, uh, def well, we defended Copenhagen, then we captured Finland to try and make peace with the Swedes. However, they are not having it, they really do not want us to make peace. Like, and there's not really a whole lot I can do with it, except start to build up my own navy, because their navy here is actually pretty damaged. And now we've got two schools on the go. So such as when his Odense has started to actually uh, finished researching social contract, they'll start moving on to some of the next level military naval techs. There you go. Oh, Frost in Nordenburg, has got a mistress, a good lad. And then Fail Bielvenstram is definitely not Nelson. Um, he's got plus one morale. Steady under fire. Good. I want to start. Oh, it's 40. Why do all my generals have to be so. Then again, in, in this set, this game, turns are actually pretty long. It's not. It's, it's actually pretty rare that people die of old age. So let's hit end turn. Because right now we've got no money. The British are on the move again. So we. But we're not really going to do anything specifically to beat them, except build up this navy to defeat the Swedes, to have some control over our straits. And then once we've done that, we can afford to risk an army trying to um, attack the British Isles. Because we'll have fire by rank, we'll have 12 pounders, but we'll decent infantry, decent artillery, decent cavalry, throw some grenadiers and some guards in there. It'll be quite a nice army to send across. It's the easiest thing to do. Um, and then we can advance up. Ask, well, I'll put them under siege, and then I'll ask, the, I'll ask them... Um, through diplomacy if they will allow me to be their protector because I think that'd be quite funny um, they've not got many colonies in the Americas that make that good um, and they won't have much in the way of trying to actually stop the Americans from becoming a thing but the United States doesn't normally get involved, doesn't normally get created till very or well, fairly late in the game but actually then again with Mexico they were created we fought them and beat them as Mexico, which was quite fun. Hmm. Oh, there are natural resources in this region that are not currently being. Oh, yeah, this is Finland now, isn't it? Let's go for government council. Average yield mines. The mines are always very really good. Get dirt roads in. Let's get fur trader because well, average yield, average yield. Might upgrade the one in Sweden first. You're all replenishing. Good. Though now I've not got anything to recruit. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so they're not. So I can, I can request to be an ally, even though they're at war with one of my allies. Two of my allies. I don't want to give you a good tech, because you might just turn around and declare war on me. And that would be lame. Okay. So next turn, build, start building ships. And set you to start building the flintlock cannon, because that's one of the more useful immediate techs you can research. And turn. I know it's going to be a fairly rubbish army, it's going to have lots of fifth rates, but it's the sort of army that will, when I've got fourth rates and third rates and better, it's the sort of army that will end up becoming a trade fleet. Austria got beaten back by Hanover. God damn, Spain's trying to turn, turn Morocco into a Catholic country. And then... Yeah. I think. 
things are pretty good. So I don't know why Russia hasn't finished Sweden off, but because like, I'm reluctant to attack them because it would be quite a tough nut to crack, and I'd have to put lots of effort into it, effort into it for a singular purpose. Um, whereas I'd rather just build. It feels like building up a navy is more general purpose, like not, not, not general purpose, but it's. I suppose you can see the same on army too. An army you can take, I can take her, trade it away for some good concessions. <gasps> Ooh, what a rake. So who do I want to keep a watch on? The Ottomans are advancing out. It's going to go a long walk on Riga. I'm never that bothered about shipping rakes around. They've never been so good as they have to do something like that. Okay, well, to be honest, if I do this, next turn I'll build another one, next turn I'll build another one, next turn I'll build another one. It's a way of, I'm always ma still producing fifth rates. Actually, I can build them other places as well. Hmm, interesting. Good God, my major fishery can build fourth rates. Very slowly, but still, that's pretty beast. Let's do that. They only cost 1800, so they're. Yeah, a handful of those would probably be still quite handy. Wicked. So Sweden's got a college, so that'll increase the research rate of flower rank. Excellent. So can you guys leave? Yep. Take up position in the star fort. But we're allied with Russia, so it's not something we're too worried about. Cool. Enter. Time for some end turn spam. I wonder if the British know what's up. Oh, I should be building some false rates in Bergen. Well, then again, if we build them in Bergen, I can't combine them into a fleet. They'd be their own separate little pile of fourths. I'd like to have one fleet to go and attack the Swedes. Swedes are clearing out the trade lanes. Too bad they can't beat the Ottomans. Although I would like the Ottomans to win against them. They're quite a good late game army. They normally end up just. They never normally do bad. They never get beaten, but they never advance. They just. They remain. That's all they do. They just exist. Unless you're Greece, in which case they go after you with everything they've got, regardless of the costs or what else they could do, or other threats. Oh. Uh oh. Don't don't go for it, Portugal. Pirates still doing some good stuff in the Americas. All our ministers are carried over, I think, generally. Could take position in the star fort. Upgrade this. Yeah, we're churning out to those. Let's get another two fifths. That's enough to allow me to upgrade this iron workshops. Although Finland with new roads would be good, so upgrading this would be good, but I don't have steam pumps. Stockholm Drill School is pretty good. Crew are in Marines, Grenadiers, lots of good stuff. And they're not. They'll get even. Yeah, so eventually when all this goes down, they'll be super happy with us. And our growth's only half a percent. But next time we'll be able to pick some more good. Recruitment measures. So I have to fire by rank. I think I'll go for basic steam pump. <gasps> Ooh, nope. I'll go for a basic steam pump. 
because we've got a good selection of mines that can make use of it. Because right now we've not got much industry. We've got one weaver's cottage, two iron workshops, lion, lion smiths. So we're not we're not going too hard down. It's not going to produce the the benefit, the economic benefit that you would imagine compared to military route to expand our lands. I suspect Russia is going to declare war on us. Well, then again. Well, they might go. F they might declare war on us to try and secure Finland, but we should still we're still allied. So if they attack us, then they'll lose lots of lots of uh, have lots of negative diplomatic um, repercussions. Barbary states, friends. So they could the Barbary states and the Ottomans could do a hell of a lot of damage in the Med. And that's the handy thing about with the Ottomans having the barbarian states is you could just funnel tech or funnel like investment into them. Okay, so let's get all well, this talk about not wanting to ferry over agents. I will ferry gentlemen over. <laughs> and then you will you can't get to a dense because of the fleet. Trinkabar. Go to the mayor. You get up there. Two turns, two turns. Good, you've got a bit of freedom now. Let's upgrade the government chambers. And let's start to build our British attack fleet. Why can we not recruit? Oh, this time there's Microsoft Life Cam that was trying to trying to update. So we can recruit Marines here because we got the Naval College. Let's get two Marines here. Let's get let's leave it for now. Actually, see so these guys can't cross back over until we get a decent fleet. Tech advances. Good shout. So you keep going down the. Okay, maybe go for the plus 10 movement. You, instead of doing wedge, go to steam pump. Because how many mines have we got? We've got one. Average yield. Low yield. Mega yield. Average yield. So no high yield, but still, mines are quite good value. Although, have the Swedes now left there? They have left their capital undefended. So I don't fall you back to Finland. No troops stationed at this port. As things get a demi cannon unit. Let's prep. Or will they just make peace? Nope. But we can trade with someone. Who to trade with? Venice, potentially? Nope. 13 colonies, they're friendly. Good stuff. Cool, I think things are going rather well. We've got fly by rank now, so we know we'll be super good in the combat department. You keep on running. And turn. To the very least, we can stop people from getting into the Baltic. That'd be pretty good. A pretty good outcome, I think. Well, at the same time, it would also be handy to prepare 
to attack that region because ultimately it's, 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 it's interesting who would I because I wouldn't want to keep it because it would feel like too much of a isolated point but who would I give it to to be honest I'd be tempted to give it to the 13 colonies because if they become Amer then it gives America a colony and we can try and have good relations with them. Coming to steal my research, eh? I am curious about where Portugal intends to drop that army. Well, I wouldn't lie, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't concerning. Gentleman in Denmark. Yeah, but you also cannot go there. Um, got another rake. So let's bring the rake over here, ready to kill these agents. Kill this guy when he when I've got the fleet destroyed. Yep, yeah, that's the rake. Finland's big council. Build next level roads. That's interesting. Because like I said, that's a big old chunk of their army. Screw a grenadier unit. And then I'll ship them over to Finland. Let's upgrade Norway just out of, out of respect for their prevalence in our success. Well, their, their importance in our success. Nope. Because you see, they, it wants to go all the way around. You recruit a unit of grenadiers. Because the time of reckoning is almost upon you, Britain. Here comes. Oh, they're going to pick up a new army. And it's going to be dropped off in the same place. And it's probably going to achieve the same aims. So it would be ideal. Well, this turn I might try and actually try and attack the Swedish fleet. Because I should have two fifths and another fourth ready. But if we can defeat the fleet, then we can... The gap... Well, well, I say to stop Britain from crossing the gap. What I'd like to happen is to bring those troops back to Copenhagen, back to as a coherent army. That would filter in first-line troops, start to draw my conscripts over to somewhere like Norway. Oh, they're falling back. Damn it. So, <laughs> I wonder if they've recruited the 33rd again. I'm, I'm sure they have. Peace with the Barbary States, yes. Don't don't attack my ships, please. Don't interdict my trade. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not covered. Okay. So let's take. You guys down to Visby to pick up another fourth rate. Drop you guys off to Malmo to go pick up another fifth rate. Patience, tech advances. Firstly, let's do mines. Good old steam pump mines can't do the last one because we've not we've just not got enough money. So at least these marines were going to come over to Copenhagen. So let's start that. Let's start this. Let's change our tech. So you move from blast furnace to spinning. G no. 
to be honest, you're probably actually better off going for Division of Labour to upgrade next level ports. And you go from that to... Well, Naval Shore facilities is good. Next level docks is good. Let's take this Navy. Let's go hit the Swedish Navy that's been blockading us since the start of the game. So they've got lots of fifths, but lots of them are fairly broken. Um, could probably still lose because I'm pretty naff at naval battles. But let's do it. So. Let's get my fourths up front. Followed by my fifths. Sixths and my sloop. Probably want them up here. Something like this, I think. And speed up times, it's likely to take a long darn time. Because, yeah, the lead fifth has <laughs> only got half of their guns. Half the guns. Yeah. To be honest, there's not much they can do in terms of actual damage. I suppose now, now they have no home port to go to, they can't do anything but just get even more damaged. But I don't, I don't know if this... Well, this navy is not strong enough to take on the Royal Navy, but I'll need to keep pumping out fourth rates from my major fishery of all places. <laughs> my major fishery can build better t better ships than my military dockyards. So that's something wrong with it there. Good stuff. So we can start getting into range. I'm not sure how much more damage we can do to it, so we can say about 18 gallons. So we'll do it at two times speed. That's the sixth rate moving in. I think he's out of range for chain shot. Yeah, he's out of by a country mile. So he's now sailing against the wind. Probably not a brilliant position to move your ships into. Concerned, many guns destroyed. That would be concerning. There we go. So unfortunately the head of the column is now in quite a little cauldron. Yeah, it says they're winning slightly. feels like there's not much point in slowing this down to like real time because right now I'm not having to make tactical decisions really. So this is the might I suppose they might try if they can if they can withstand the, the damage from sailing up, I was about to say withstand the damage by sailing up near the main, the, my main fleet, they might try and come around the back and attack some of the, the weaker ships at the back. But to be honest, I might just, just sail them like that. Sail them into the wind and it slows the whole formation down, but to be honest, there's not really a... Not really a need. Hop it was wavering for a second. Yeah, you know, like right now, even if my, my formation doesn't move, it's still quite a solid gun line position we're in right now. So, Lief, Liefde, Liefer, looks like it's 
having a bad time. And we are just putting out more shots than... Oh, even my sloop's getting involved at the rear. To be honest, it has a larger crew and more guns than Hoppet now <laughs> at this point. Yeah, can't really do much more than just watch the fireworks. Because these guys are brigs, they're animals at the rear, which makes a lot of sense. Normally the AI has them right up front. Good old sloop. My Emerald's flagship's taking some fire. Okay, looks like they might be going to sail into a position where the head of their the head of their line may be able to get some shots, some good shots on my fourth rate. But to be honest, all my men are in good spirits, the ships are in good condition. No one's been dismasted yet by an errant cannonball. To be honest, it's still remarkable how much A, how much my guys are missing, and B, how well their ships are standing up to the damage. Probably because we're at such long range. Yeah, their fifth rate is going to try and... I think I still probably want to do something like this. Oh, is that going to be the first... the first routing ship? Yeah. Yeah, routing. Many guns destroyed. Oh no, they're just wavering. Yeah, so they're going to get some good good shots against the head of my column. Oh no, they're all breaking formation. They're coming right for us. <laughs> Start to change some of my guys to fire. Ch uh, uh, ch uh, chain shot. Get ready to move. Still fire round shot. Because right now there's not much point in trying to. Oh, Savannah's going to sink. That's a beautiful angle for a ship to be at. So unfortunately, Hoppet's going to put himself at. at in the position of being fired upon by my... Ooh. <sighs> being fired on by my starboard gun crews. Master Land is routing. Probably gonna surrender. Let's get you fire chain shot. Need a fire chain shot. Just keep following the line around. Just keep my Admiral's flagship. Well, my fourth rate. Keep firing chain shot. Cause maybe not to kill the Admiral. Yep, hop it's routing. Get some sinking ships. So they're gonna hit the animal's flagship. To be honest, at this point I might break up the formation, so let's. Pair of these off. Okay, 
it. So that you keep going. Some of these decisions do not make sense. Just bored if you're going to be silly about it. Just one sec, guys. Some deliveries from good old Amazon. So I'm going to want to capture as many of their decent ships as I can. No, do round shot still. Like that one's unfortunate, but I'm probably not going to catch it. Well, I don't know. I'll try sending my admiral after it, but Got some shots up. Don't hop it. Destroyed a gun. Not enough to make it route though. Not enough to make it surrender, I mean. They were slightly winning the attack against the fifth rate. Getting my speed up again, because right now there's not a whole lot that can change. If you're gonna chase, do chain shots, do Yeah, do chain shot, because you, if you've got any bow guns. You've got two. We'll slowly poke holes in the sails and it'll slowly make us slow down. So I think I'm probably going to give up at trying to catch this ship because you're too far away. So instead, move in this direction and try cut off the Admiral's flagship. Okay, now do round shot, just to make sure you're still pounding shots into the Admiral's flagship. And do round shot as well, may as well. You may not get into a good position. go take the 6th rate. The Admiral's flagship is ours. Good. The Admiral's been captured. <laughs> That's a hell of a 
working motion for a ship. Yeah, let's end it there. Heroic victory in the first victory of the Danish Navy. The threat of the Swedish Navy from our shores. So what have we captured? Do you must I'll probably still take the brigs to garrison our ports. So get ashore. Prepare as much as we can. Good. Now I may actually move my... I can move my garrison across. Well, actually that's still... Firstly, let's try and assassinate the general. Let's get a gentleman over here to research. That may have been a silly move. Because it leaves them open to... It leaves them open to just sailing around. We've still, we've still got ships, or well, some ships under recruitment. keep my spy going towards Riga. Cool, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of my Let's Play Total War as Denmark. Radio. Cheers guys. Yeah.